Well, my name's Sarah Kaczynski, and today I am in beautiful Oahu, Hawaii, Honolulu, one of my favorite long-lining parks. And I'd like to take a little bit of time to speak about ways to increase your pulling power, or more specifically, your effective mechanical advantage of your pulling, your tensioning system. So as you go with progressively longer lines, of course, you can need progressively higher tensions, which requires progressively more pulling power. Now, you may find that maybe you didn't buy the best pulleys that are on the market at, in the beginning, as I did. These aren't the best pulleys on the market. Uh, and so you can upgrade your pulleys, right? Of course, you can go with switching from bushings to bearings, and you can go with thinner rope. You can go with uh, larger sheaves, things like that. But I'd like to take a little bit of time to speak about another option. Uh, another option is you can change your brake. So, for years, longliners and slackliners have been using devices like the Petro Grigri and the Rig and the Id and the Eddy and the Cinch, devices like that. And for good reason, they work great. They're very secure, safe, reliable. Basically, they do what we need them to do and they don't cost a thousand dollars. They do Grigri retails for $99. Uh, but one thing they are not is efficient. They are quite rather inefficient. And specifically, this Grigri, the Grigri 1, and my test was really only 40 to 50 percent efficiency efficient which is worse than the worst pulley out there really in most cases uh, now why does that matter well the multiplier system as the name implies multiplies the mechanical advantage of your system right so the standard multiplier system is a three to one that's what most people use most people use a five to one base so assuming that of course the pulleys and all the equipment was 100% efficient, you, you would multiply the two together and you'd have a 15 to 1 base. But in reality, if you're using something like the Grigri, the effective mechanical advantage is more like a 2 to 1. And then when you take into account the inefficiency of the pulleys of your base system, then your 15 to 1 is more like maybe like an 8 to 1 or a 7 to 1. Um, so that is why it's super imperative that you use highly efficient gear, uh, gear that doesn't have a whole lot of friction in your multiplier system. Uh, so one way you can increase the efficiency of your multiplier system without spending a ton of money is to go with a combination pulley instead of a more traditional brick, right, the Grigri. Um, so like I mentioned before, we're looking at like 40 to 50 percent efficiency with this guy, whereas this is about 95. And it's not too much more expensive. You can find the Pro Traction on the internet for 140 bucks. I think it retails for like 155 or somewhere around there. Um, and if you're looking for a very, a very serious break, you can go with something like the CMC multi-purpose device or the MPD, which is awesome because you can actually release the load on that device directly from the break, meaning that there's a little handle on the back on a panel to turn and release the slack line load, similar to Grigri, like where you pull back the handle, right? Um, but that device also costs $700, and so for some people, they're not looking to spend quite that much money, and so something like the Pro Traction or Mini Traction or other combination fully is a little bit more affordable. But as with the Grigri, there's also drawbacks to using a device like this, a combination pulley. And one of the drawbacks is that uh, there's no handle to just release the load on it, right? It's held by a uh, rope is held by what's known as a progress capture cam. It's this little red thing here. It's a tooth cam that jams the rope against the sheath. And you can't open it while it's under the load. Uh, so that might deter some people from purchasing a device like this because they may think that you know there's no way to release the load and like this really there isn't but i can show you a way that uh, allows you to release the load but before i do that i want to cover something else uh, some people are sh kind of shy from using a combination pulley like this because it's a tooth cam and tooth cams naturally are obviously sharp and sharp objects don't mix well with ropes they can cut the rope and for good reason tooth cams uh, do have inherent risks so with the petzl pro traction the cam limited safe working load is 2.5 kilonewton which is approximately 500 pounds um, so what does that mean well that means that 
you can pull this way about 2.5 kilonewtons before you reach the safe working load of the cam. Now that's not the safe working load of the pulley. I think the pulley is ready for 20 kilonewtons, something like that. Uh, safe working load, maybe say 5 kilonewtons, 10 kilonewtons, somewhere around there. But the cam is 2.5. So how can you get around that? Because obviously 2.5 kilonewtons isn't sufficient for holding tension of a long line which might have 2,000 pounds of force on it. Well, <coughs> the load in your pulley system is going to be divided somewhat proportionally along the strand. So if you have a 5 to 1, then the load that is presented to your slack line is going to be 5 times what the load is presented to the brake. So if you have a if you have a thousand pound load on the slack line, then you're looking at approximately a 200 pound load on the, the protraction or whatever brake you're going to use. Um, so what I recommend is that if you go with a device like this to upgrade to a 6 to 1 or a 7 to 1 base system. And the reason why I recommend that is just to try to limit the amount of force that's on the cam. So. Uh, if my math's right, if you have a 7 to 1, uh, you should have an effective safe working load of 19.5 kilonewtons. Uh, assuming 2.5 times 7 is 19.5, somewhere around there. Right, so you're looking at almost 20 kilonewtons safe, safe working load, limited by the cam, of course. The safe working load of the other equipment may be lower. So that is kind of uh, shows that this being unsafe is not necessarily really true. Although, I should say, Never, never, never use a device like this for a high line. It's only be used for long lines, flat lines. Don't use tooth cams on high lines. Some people disagree. I say don't use them, period. But <clears throat> with a 7 to 1 base, you have a sufficiently high safe working load. And generally, the braking strength of the rope is double that of safe working load with the protraction. So look at that 40 kilonewtons braking strength limited by the cam. So it's really not as much of an issue as some people may claim. So, now going back a little bit, how do we release the load? So maybe you decided that you'd like to go with this device, or some type of combination pulley, but not sure how to release the load. This part's a little bit tricky, but once you get used to it, and once you practice it a few times, it's actually not too bad. Uh, one device you will need is a mechanically locking belay device. Now, you can use an ATC for this, or a minor hitch even but you would need two people then. Uh, it would be, it's possible to do by yourself, but rather difficult. So it's best to have a Grigory. But if you're upgrading from a Grigory to this, right, you're already gonna have this anyway. And if you don't, you're probably slacklining with two people in most cases. So you can just use an ATC and grab help from them. But I'm gonna show you today how to use a Grigory. So what you're gonna do is take the free end of your rope and thread it through the Grigory. The climber is going to be pointing towards your brake, and the hand will be pointing towards the spool of rope that you probably have sitting on the ground. And you're going to clip it right here. So some of you might have a shackle here. That's okay. Just clip it to something up here. Don't clip it to the rope, though. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove a backup that you might have here. Any backup that you'll have with the line. Take that out, because obviously if you're detention which brings me to a quick sidetrack. Uh, with this device, you always need to have a carabiner in this hole. Uh, so the side plate flips open and has a little spring-loaded button here which holds the side plate closed. But you don't want to rely solely on that. You also want to have a carabiner through here which prevents this side plate from inadvertently opening. That's pretty important. So make sure you always have a carabiner in here. Okay. So moving on. You're going to take this guy and attention it like that. There's no yank on it. Simple as that, right? So now you're going to take your multiplier system and you're going to grab the other end of your static rope. So one end is connected here to the pulleys and the other is sitting on the ground. So you're going to take that and you're going to tie a knot in it, like so. Then you're going to take that knot and you can connect it here or you can throw it around, carabiner, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Connect it somewhere to the anchor back behind the brake. Okay. And you're going to take this strand of the rope that you just connected to the brake, which is the other end of the static rope. Put your pulley through it. Set up your multiplier system just like normal. Looks like you're going to tension the line. 
but you have to be careful which strand you're going to put it on here now. Uh, don't put it on the strand going to the Grigory, otherwise you're not really doing anything at all. You seem to be doing a lot of work and not actually doing anything useful. So you're going to put it on the strand that uh, feeds into your base system. This is, again, just like you were setting, setting up normally. Now, here is where it's useful to have help because your mechanical advantage of this system is only actually a 2 to 1, whereas with the traditional multiplier system that you use, the tension in your line would be a 3 to 1. Uh, so you have less mechanical advantage here, and therefore it is advantageous to have somebody else help you. But again, you don't need help. You can do it by yourself. If you find a 2 to 1 is not sufficient to do the next action that I'm going to show you, you throw another pulley on here and do a 4 to 1. Okay. So this end, this strand right here goes to the Grigri. You're going to want to hold on to this, and the reason why is the Grigri, like, sometimes if there's no load on it, it'll start to slip. If it, that device doesn't lock, then this isn't going to work that I'm showing you. So you don't need to hold on it, but it needs to be readily available so that you can grab on it if need be, okay? So you're going to grab the multiplier here and you put the multiplier generally at the one-third or one-half mark. Don't put it all the way up here uh, because when you start releasing the load, the ascender or the press stick or whatever device you're using here as a rope grab is going to jam in the front pulley and you're going to be screwed. It's not going to work. So, With the protraction, how you open this guy, and this is similar to most combination pulleys, is you pull back, but again, can't be released on the load, right? So best way to do this is do like a one, two, three hard tug type thing and simultaneously pull back on the cam while doing the hard tug. Let's try it. There we go. Okay. See, now I'm supporting the entire slack line load by myself. And as you can see, this is no longer locked, which sometimes happens. That's why I said you need to hold on to it. So lock it like so. And hopefully... Go. And so, so now you have the entire load on to the Grigri. So now this is basically just a pulley uh, because you've disabled the cam or the progress capture cam. And so now it's just a pulley. And then you just release it just like you were using the Grigri for a brake. Except your brake's now in the front. So we're ready to assemble. And voila. So once you get used to doing it, it's really not that hard. Um, it helps if you have a friend, but you don't need one. You can do it by yourself, as long as you have a locking play device. So hopefully that teaches you something useful. And keep in mind, again, upgrading from a device like a Grigri or an ID or something like that to a combination pulley will yield more pulling power than upgrading to a 7 to 1 with the same device. Again, 5 to 1 with a combination pulley has more pulling power than a 7 to 1 with a traditional brake like a Grigri. Keep that in mind. Have a great day.